Hello folks and welcome to some more Minecraft Bewitchment here with me, Kit. And look at this. So yes, as it turns out, it did work. We are Werepire. We are actually Werepire every single night. So it's actually not only on full moons, I believe. We are, we're three blocks tall. I love being three blocks tall. Any mod that allows me to turn into something or become something that's three blocks tall, I'm sold. I'm instantly sold. Um, nothing can touch us. We are, uh, we are just unstoppable at this time. Um, check this out. Watch this. Look at this. Ha ha ha. Yes. So it's not quite, it's not uh, like flying as a bat, as a vampire. It's not like creative flying. It's um, like flapping. And I'm sure if I, oh, look at this. <laughs> Deary me. Oh, just give me a moment. My, um, my Digimon are calling. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, wow. Ouch. That hurt. Look, you can scream at me all you want, Enderman, um, but the fact of the matter is uh, we're completely we're completely next level. Um, we do have to be very, very careful, though, because we do still sustain fall damage. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Uh, which is... Yeah, it takes some getting used to, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, look at how absolutely sickening we look. Look at this. Look at this. I look. Props. Props to the model makers. Why am I holding rotten flesh? Disgusting. Um, props to the model makers because I am obsessed with this Werepire model. Um, again. I'm all in black, which happened when I became a werewolf. I don't know if this is some sort of bug. Um, I don't know. We can we can always actually just dye our colour, um, which is fun. Um, but yeah, so we are Werepire. And like I said last episode, today we're going to summon our Beelzebub. And I'm totally lost. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, yep. So today we're going to summon Beelzebub. Um, we're not at qu not quite as fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. I kind of like this um this flight system because it it requires uh actually requires just a, a little bit more um skill actually. So it's it's kind of more rewarding in that way. Uh, I'm gonna need everyone to just bugger off. Um, just get. Yes, so I've been busy between episodes, uh, just creating a little, as, as is my tradition, creating a little house for Beelzebub. You get buggered. Um, yeah, but uh, because we haven't pledged to Beelzebub yet, we don't have any control over this, um, uh, this werepire situation. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's just, let's muck around until the moon sets uh, as a werepire. That's, that's what it's all about. So yeah, let's let's have a bit of a, a bit of a flap. We're not quite yeah, we're not quite as fast as a as a bat, as a vampire bat, which makes me a bit sad. Um, but we have the gamer broom, so if I ever want to go, you know, so fast that I can see into next Tuesday, then we can just take the gamer broom. Um, have I been here before? That is the question. Uh, yeah, game a bit choppy. Uh. My uh, my graphics driver crashed just before the episode, so we'll see how we go. It's it's super annoying. I've never had that problem before, but here we are. Anyway, we're a werepire. Uh, we should actually probably head to a village and have a good time, uh, or something something of that ilk. We're definitely going to fight the Ender Dragon as a werepire. I've decided. I've decided that's what we're going to do. It would be more. I think. I suspect it would be better to fight the um, the Ender Dragon as a vampire, so that we have access to that sort of creative type flying. But um, this is pretty good. Like this is pretty good. 
Uh, so we'll probably have time today to do a bit of prep for Ender Dragon. Uh, by the way, I have actually found a stronghold. I totally neglected to mention that. I have found a stronghold. Now, I suppose the risk... The risk with being a werepire is obviously that the sun comes up <laughs> and you're uh, mid-air and you suddenly become uh, human in mid-air. So that's uh, exciting and we'll be avoiding that. We're, we're quite slow actually. I'm not I'm not about that. I'm not about... Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, great. Uh, look, whoa, we're regening health like... Wow. Um, cool. That's good to know. I don't know if that's just unique to being a werepire, but, um... Alright. Uh, let's do this thing. Ah, choppy, choppy, choppy game. Come on. Just behave for me, hey? What is that about? Hmm? What is that in regards to? So, look, I think just to avoid risking it. I think I'm just going to chill here until the daylight dawneth. Okay, here we are. Beautiful sunrise as per usual. Thank you, um, BSL shaders. That is just lovely. I totally forgot that it actually needs to be night. <laughs> it actually needs to be night for us to summon Beelzebub. That's hilarious. So let's wait for night because what I've found is that I actually don't transform into a werepire if there aren't enough blocks above me to do it. So I don't transform into a werepire under here. I'll show you what I mean after we summon the Elzebub. But yes, see you at night. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else left to do. Oh, I think we, we need to wear special clothes so that uh, we don't die. Uh, without further ado, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the hunger bar, don't ask me. Um, it just periodically switches back to the the uh, the vanilla hunger. I don't know. I, it doesn't seem to actually affect the game at all, but it does that. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's summon Beelzebub, the Lord of the Flies. And um, I actually have hello. Or do I hold it? Oh, I see. It's depleting my magic. Hmm. Huh. Very interesting. If I go outside, I'm going to become a werepire. <sighs> ah. Okay. Let's let's see. Hmm. No, that's no good. Because. Ah, that's a bummer. Hmm. That's very interesting. So I need to have... Uh, okay. So I need to actually move the altar again. Uh. Oh no, I'm close enough here to regen... Oh, excellent. I'm close enough right at the door. Excellent. Perfect. All right, let's let's give that another shot. Here we go. Whoa! Oh no, that's no good at all. Oh, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, he's not dying though, which is good. Okay, let's see if we can just make things a little bit easier for you, buddy. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was exciting. Um, hey, I hate that you make the spider sound, dude, but, um, okay, let's go with that. Wow, you are so tall. You are so tall and so gross and you, exactly what I expected. Um, other than exactly how tall you were. Wow, yeah, I didn't think he was going to spawn if he wasn't tall enough to fit in the room. So that's really interesting. 
Uh, yeah, P.S. Do you like my room? My, my Beelzebub room? Lord of the Flies, you know? Um, I figured something that's a bit gross, something that's a little bit... Uh, yeah, because I, like I, it was going to be crimson stuff um, from the nether because it kind of looks more like like bodily viscera and stuff like that. But I figured the, you know, I thought about that 80s horror movie, The Fly, where that guy, um, the scientist, uh, I think it's got Jeff Goldblum in it. Um, he does an experiment and he gradually becomes a fly and it's really gross and, and oh, actually, bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, anyway, it's kind of based on Kafka's metamorphosis. Anyway, uh, I got those, the, the sort of like green, uh, sickly green horror 80s kind of um, uh, aesthetic and I thought, oh, I think that would be really cool. So here we are. P.S. I'm not entirely sure about the logic behind Beelzebub and Werepires. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, like I, I'm not, this isn't actually a criticism, like it, whatever, like it's not supposed to be serious. It's actually, like besmirchment is like the satirical part of the mod. But um, yeah, I, I'd be curious to hear actually from the mod creators what the thinking is behind having Beelzebub be like the patron of Werepires. Anyway. Uh, obligatory uh, Lord of the Flies William Golding jokes aside, let's let's do this thing and have actual control over um, our unholiness. <laughs> uh, did I do this wrong? Again. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Because it didn't make the noise. Every time. Now, what is it? Am I gonna die? Um, oh no, because I have to. Oh, I have to nullify my pledge to. Who am I currently pledged to? Vampires. No, it's not Lilith because I gave her garlic. Would I still be pledged to Lilith if I if I gave her garlic? Hmm. Hmm. Surely not. I think, you know what? I think we need to do the old crystal ball. Because that definitely didn't work. And if I go outside, I'm going to become a werepire, aren't I? Ugh. We'll go. Okay. No, we're going to have to do crystal ball. Yep, here we go. Let's do crystal ball. Whoa! <sighs> um, yes, yeah, so we're going to need a tag lock. I need to tag lock my bed and I should have got on the broom. I wonder if I can, if I can get on the broom as a werewolf, I should be able to get on the broom as a werepire, right? Like that's, that's how that should work. Um, all right. Come on, come on. Just gen gentle, gentle, gentle. Goodness me. Uh, now I can't get into my house. Perfect. Okay, I've got my two tag locks because we are nothing if not uh, incredibly thorough. And we're going to head back using our gamer broom. And we're going to do... Oh, hold on, I have crystal ball heal. I've got a crystal ball here. I always forget. Uh, thank you, get off. Right. I really need this game to just settle down for a hot second. Um, Pledge Lilith. Okay, so, take note, all you vampires, or ex-vampires. Just because you stopped being a vampire by giving Lilith garlic doesn't mean that your pledge to Lilith is null and void. Very interesting. Very interesting. And very annoying, because it means we have to go back to Lilith and punch her. <gasps> hey Lilith, how's it going? What you doing? What you doing? Just, just chilling, just hanging out, hanging out in the cold biome. Okay, now all I have to do is punch her, right? Like, there's no, like, funny. Okay, look, let's just do this. Let's just, let's just do it. I've had enough. I've had enough 
I'm not myself. Is it? Is that all? Are you? Are you mad? Why is she not mad? I don't like this. Okay, we might have to try the crystal ball again. She's not mad at me. Is that... Hello? Sh like, I would know, right? If she was mad at me, she'd be summoning vampires left, right, and center, right? This is, this is really ambiguous. Okay, well, hopefully... Hopefully that's done the trick. Let's let's head home. Okay, let's let's hit the thingy, uh, the crystal ball with a tag lock again. Oh, that's bollocks! Of course, it's strong enough. Yes, note that uh, the sunlight doesn't actually affect vampires, which is uh, quite a relief. But yes. Uh, yeah, apologies for my choppy game. I'm just going to persevere with it. It is strong enough. Don't be... Okay, I think my crystal ball is going off this altar over here, which is weaker than the other one. So that's exciting. You know, let's try and put the zombie head on this and see if that does anything interesting. I don't think that really affected it very much. It costs way too much magical energy to do a tag lock reading on a crystal ball. That should be really cheap. Just saying. Um, we don't have a candelabra here, so maybe that will help us. Let's do... Uh, what kinds of candelabra are there? Here we go. Uh, golden, silver. Is that more powerful? I don't know. Let's do a silver one. Uh, I don't think I've made a silver one, actually. So we've got torches, and I think... I think that's it. Is there anything funny and fancy? No, that's it. Uh, okay. So I believe it's like that. And then like this. Very nice. That enderman is taunting me. I've got another save going at the moment where I just, I all I need is an ender pearl and I just cannot for the life of me find an enderman. Anyway, let's try this. I mean, surely that's enough now, anyway. To do a reading. Come on now. Alright. I'm still pledged to Lilith. Mmm. Oh dear. Uh, transformation Werepire, that's correct. Familiar Cat Pledge Lilith. Why am I still pledged to Lilith? What is that about? Attacking the demon in any way will immediately revoke the pledge. So... I shouldn't be pledged to Lilith anymore. You guys saw me hit her like 70 times with a diamond sword. So what... what... so what... So, what? What is the issue here? Whoa! Hmm. I was just trying to solve the pledge problem. And you know what? I don't think... I think it might be a bug. I think it might be another 1.16.5 bug. Anyway, so it looks like I can't really solve the pledge issue. I might have to actually alter my player data to uh, unpledge myself to Lilith so we can pledge to uh, Beelzebub and that might be a job that I need to do between episodes so today kind of a short one um, just wanted to showcase some wearperism um, I feel like we haven't done a whole lot but we did summon Beelzebub the woodland mansion um, I know, I, like, I, I sort of had big plans for that. I've sort of decided not to do that now. Let me know if you're particularly uh, disappointed about that and if you really wanted to see the Woodland Mansion stuff. 
I've just sort of figured that there are, there are more interesting there are more interesting things to do in this mod. Yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Oh, and here the phantoms are as well. I don't sleep. I don't. Stop shaming me for not sleeping. Look at me. Do I look like I need sleep? Thank you once again for joining me. Um, it has been a quick one. It's been a weird one. It's been a buggy one as well. So I do apologize. Hopefully I can fix all those sort of issues be uh, before my next episode. There's another werepire. Shall we, shall we tussle with him? Yeah, let's do it. Just, just to round out the episode. Just so we feel somewhat productive. And I've accidentally opened the bloody inventory again. Um, how are we going for health? Oh yeah, we're quite well. We're quite well. Come on, let's get let's let's get him. Get in a punch up. Get in a punch up with another werepire. Ooh, we got him. That was very easy, actually. Um, cool. Oh, this is fun. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, it's all happening. It is truly all happening. All right, folks, you take care. I'll see you next time. Cheers.